Good morning, Eisenhower Eagles. Today is Monday, December 4th, cycle day three. That means you're going to have music today. Let's go ahead and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, boys, girls, you may be seated for lunch today. It is Monday, so we have three options. We have cheese pizza, or we have popcorn chicken with a soft pretzel, or we have turkey and cheese wrap. Your side are green beans, and then you also have the salad bar option. Tomorrow, three options. Again, we have hot dog, or a soft taco, or a bagel kids bowl. All right. Special announcements for this week. Let's see. Uh, Fourth, we have zero birthdays for today. Zero. There we go. <clears throat> if you're wondering where I am, I am at my home. I had to do these announcements because I forgot my computer when I came up to the school and left it at home charging. And so I just brought the stuff home that I needed to be able to do announcements for you guys. And I'm trying to be quiet because everybody already fell asleep. We read our stories and the kids fell asleep. Um, and I don't want to wake them up. So if you are having a hard time hearing me, I am so sorry. But I think this is really cool. I know it is um, plaid day for the teachers and for staff. And um, if you didn't notice, my, uh, my reindeer horns are plaid. Um, right now, you may see me in the hallways and in the classrooms wearing this, just so you know. Who knows? All right. Um, we're going to go over a few reminders. We have our hallway expectations. We've done playground and we, we've done the lunchroom expectations with this, but we're going to do the hallway ones this time. Remember, you remain quiet in the hallways. You respond appropriately to others. We need to still obey the safety rules in the hallway. You walk slowly. That does not mean we run. You keep hands and feet to yourselves. That means if you need to get in line and somebody's in your spot, you say, excuse me, instead of shoving. We don't want to shove, okay? Act responsibly. Stay in a straight line with class. Go directly to your destination. Your destination is where you're going, whether it's PE, whether it's music, whether it's library, whether it's art, guidance, any of those places where you're going. If you need to go to the office or you need to go to the nurse, that's where you're going, all right? Respect self, others, and property. Let's keep the hallway clean and leave others' property alone, okay? Hallway clean. If you leave your boots and your socks or your coats on the ground and they're spread out, uh, I know I've been walking through and kind of pushing the things to the side. Let's make sure that you guys keep them Put them up on the shelf or hang up your coats. You don't want people stepping on them, getting them all dirty. It's just not a fun thing. Um, also, with those things being on the ground, they're a tripping hazard, and somebody could trip over them and hurt themselves really, really bad. And we do not want that to happen. All right? All right. So, those are our hallway expectations. Our boys' town skill for the week is having a conversation. We need to look at the person, use a pleasant voice, listen to what the other person says, and when there is a break in the conversation, ask a question or share your thoughts. All right? Let the person continue talking when you're having the conversation. We do not interrupt. You don't want to stop them from talking just to get your point across. You need to let them finish. Then you can talk about yours. Okay? All right. 
having a conversation. That is our boys telling skill for this month. And you, this is a good one to practice in the classroom. So some teachers may take the time to practice this with you or have kids practice this with, um, with each other. All right. All right. Let's see. I think that's all we have uh, for special announcements. Um, next week, we are doing our NSCAS growth uh, testing for grades three through five. So be prepared for that. Make sure everybody's getting enough rest and eating enough, eating healthy so you can do your best and making sure that you always do do your best. All right. All right. We are going to close it out today. Remember, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. And if you want to be an Eisenhower Eagle, you have to work hard. You have to be kind. Then we can all soar like eagles. We'll see you later. Good.